Right, as we look at uh, question nine, they say an induction coil of area 48.6 cubic centimeters and windings, uh, and 200 windings rather, is rotated clockwise in a constant magnetic field uh, of magnitude 2.4 Tesla. They say refer to the diagram below. Right, now they say the diagram, the graph rather below, um, shows how the induced EMF varies with the inverse of time, right? So the first thing is that they ask us to state Faraday's law in words, right? So remember that, uh, um, say that the induced EMF, right, is directly proportional to the rate of flow of magnetic flux linkage across them. Okay, so please note that is the formal definition, Right, and then the next question, they say use the information in the graph to calculate the change in magnetic flux. So let's use the, the formula as we know it. So we've got E, that's minus N over the change in magnetic flux divided by the change in time. Right, now I want you to please note, we can choose any particular point. So I chose to take this point over here. The induced EMF is 3 volts, okay? And they told us that the windings are 200 windings. So that's minus 200, okay? That's change in magnetic flux divided by... Now, the change in time, ladies and gents, we've got multiplied by, um, this is 1 over change in time, right? So, the corresponding time there, 1 over change in time, is 1.8, okay? So, if you look at that, so that increases in 0 0.2. So, that's 1 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6, 1 1.8, and that becomes 2. So it is at 1.8. That is 1 over time, right? So which means what we're going to do here, um, you can say, well, 1 over t is 1.8. So which means the uh, time is actually 1 over 1.8. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So Let's find out what the magnetic, the change in magnetic flux is, right? So uh, let's whip out our calculator. We've got uh, three times um, 1 over 1.8, okay? And we are going to divide that, ladies and gents, by uh, 200. Okay, so I get negative 0 0.0083. Okay, so remember, that is the change in magnetic flux. Okay, and um, we always use Weber's for that. Okay, right, so that is how we're going to calculate that. Now let's look at the next question. They say that the coil rotates through an angle theta to a position where the magnetic flux becomes zero. Now remember, when does the magnetic flux become zero? When the angle is actually 90, right? So in this case, when the angle between the coil and the field would be 90 degrees, right? So that would be that final point there. And they want us to now calculate the angle theta. Now remember, so that means that the change in magnetic flux would be equal to, um, sorry, the initial flux minus the final one, or the final minus the initial rather. Okay, so we know that this should give us minus 0 0.0083 that's the change that we got okay now how do we uh, calculate the um, the change in magnetic flux or rather the uh, magnetic flux so this is going to be b multiplied by the area right so this is going to be 
magnetic field multiplied by the area, right, the cos of the angle. So that's initial minus B times A cos of theta, right? That's for the initial one and that is the final one. So we know in this case we were given uh, the magnetic field was 2.4. Right, so this is going to be 2.4 multiplied by the area is given to us as 448.6 right cubic centimeters. Now, note that finally we said that it will be at 90 degrees, so this will be cos of 90 minus initially. We'll have 2.4 times 48.6, the cos of angle theta, which is the unknown uh, angle that we're looking for. And we know this will give us negative 0 0.083. Right, now notice, ladies and gents, we know that uh, cos of 90 is 1. Okay, uh, so let's uh, try to deal with that. So we know we're going to deal with this first. Okay, uh, so I'm going to say negative 0 0.083, no, 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 0, 0, 0083, right? Now I'm going to subtract this entire thing. So minus, this is 2.4 um, times 48.6 cos of 90, okay? Now, notice in this case, I get exactly the same. Uh, in fact, I just made a mistake. I said cos of 90 is 1, but it actually is 0, right? So that means that becomes 0. So we've got negative 0 0.083, right? Which is equal to, and it makes sense because remember they said that um, you know, the magnetic flux becomes zero there, right? So this is equal to, we've got minus, right? Remember there was that negative sign there, 2.4 times 48.6, the cos of angle theta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of that and divide by negative 2.4 times 48.6, okay? And that's the answer that I will get over there, right? And in this case, I want to find out what is the angle theta. So I am going to take that answer and, oh, and by the way, sorry, I made a mistake here. I was supposed to change my, um, yeah, I was supposed to change that to meters, right? So we're supposed to change that to meters cubed. So remember that centimeters, this is a hundredth of a meter. But in this case, we are going to say 48.6, right? but we divide by 100 squared, okay? Uh, because this is centimeter squared, right? Uh, centimeter is divided by 100, and this we're saying divide by 100 squared. Right, so uh, apologies about that. So I'm going to take that and actually have, so that's 0 0.083, right? Remember this gave us zero, that's minus, now we said that's 2.4 times uh, 48.6 divided by 100 squared, all right? And this is going to be the cos of theta, right? So. Uh, let's do that quickly, ladies and gents. So we're going to have uh, negative 0 0.08083, right? This is going to be 
multiplied by um, 100 uh, squared there, which gives us 83, right? And we are going to divide now by that entire thing, which is 2.4 times 48.3 okay right and i forgot the negative there uh, so i'm supposed to have cos of theta is equal to 0 0.716 and so on right i'm just going to um apologies there so multiply that whole thing by negative one so that i don't get an Answer that is, uh, okay, so I'm going to say, right, shift, okay, so my answer, okay, times negative one, I see I've made a mistake again, right, and I'm going to say shift, right, this, the cos, that's negative one, and yeah, for some reason I'm, just failing to get this correctly, okay? And I'm going to say shift the cos of my answer, okay? And I get 44.27, ladies and gents. Okay, apologies for those glitches. So this is 44.27, and that would be the angle uh, theta that they asked us to find. All right, I hope that makes sense, and please remember that your uh, area must always be in square meters, right? All right, so that is really how that uh, question ends. Let's go to the last question.